now that you have a better understanding of the different types of reinforcement learning methods, we'll discuss the practical steps required to create an RL trading system. By the end of this session, you will be able to identify the components of an RL trading system, understand the steps required to develop a deep RL strategy, and identify the strategy checks needed before going live with your RL trading system. To begin, we'll talk about the main components of an RL trading system. An RL trading system is very similar to other quantitative systems. Once it has been successfully trained and back-tested on historical data, it is ready to be paper traded and potentially go live. The RL trader, whose command center is the RL algorithm, receives data on the current market state and acts on it by either placing trading order or doing nothing. If it creates an order, it may be executed immediately or it may need approval from a human operator. For most trading strategies, especially high frequency trading, intervention by a human operator would not be feasible or necessarily desirable due to the need to react quickly to changing market conditions. The new market state, along with order performance data, is passed to the policy optimization algorithm, and then the revised policy, along with new market data, are analyzed, tested, and passed to the RL trader, which then makes a new trading decision. 